Okay, let's talk about optimizing the playback engine setting. So here we are in a brand new session in Pro Tools. We just go to the setup menu, click playback engine, and it brings up this playback engine dialog box. So let's just go over a few of these settings. The first one you see here is one that says current engine. Uh, this should already be set for you, so you're not going to have to worry about that. Let's talk mostly about this box right here, this settings box. So we have the hardware buffer size. For recording, you're going to want to set the buffer size to a lower number of samples to reduce latency. 256 or less will be fine. Note that lower settings place more strain on your processor, but the direct benefit is a reduction in latency. And if you're mixing, you're going to want to set the buffer size to a higher number of samples to reduce errors caused by CPU intensive tasks and plugins. Higher settings are easier for the computer to process, which gives you more available power for things like plugins, but the downside is that you will experience an increase in latency. So, you know, if you're recording, keep it at 256, put it over here. If you're mixing, just uh, push it up here maybe. So see what works for you host processors I have total of four on my MacBook Pro but uh, the general rule for this is to actually it's kind of a hard and fast rule is to always assign one less processor than the maximum number of processors available this leaves one processor for the computer to run system related tasks so as you can see I have four but I set it to three the CPU usage limit. This setting determines the maximum percentage of your computer's processing power that will be allocated to host processing tasks in Pro Tools, primarily what are called real-time audio suite plugins or RTAS plugins. On single processor systems, the default setting of 85% is fine. This leaves 15% for your computer to, to do things like run your operating system. On multiprocessor systems, the general rule is to set the, the setting to 50% and adjust as needed. Because even with as little as 50% allocated across two or more processors, you can still run a significant number of RTAS plugins or real time audio suite plugins. All right, there's this host engine, uh, ignore errors during during playback slash record. If you check it, it may cause clicks and pops. Uh, basically, there's not really a good reason for you guys to check this, so leave it unchecked. It's going to work for you 99% of the time. Okay, let's come down here to where it says Delay Compensation Engine. This is a, it's kind of a deeper topic, but basically you should always start with this set to short. This will enable what's called um, Automatic Delay Compensation. Um, which should compensate for all the latencies in the system, ensuring that your mixes stay perfectly in time and phase accurate. If you're using plugins that cause a lot of, of latencies, such as the maximum limiter, you may need to adjust the setting to long, but I'll show you what this does. Um, if you can see that we already have a session open, right now the delay compensation engine is set to none. We're going to set it to short and watch what it does. It says selecting this playback engine will automatically save and close your session. The, the session will be reopened when you are done changing settings. Are you sure you want to proceed? Uh, you could, you should click yes. If it's not currently on, you should definitely turn it to short. And like I said, if you're using, uh, if you have a lot of plugins that are causing a lot of latency, you can switch it to long. These down here are not so important to you guys. This is the DAE playback buffer. And uh, DAE stands for DigiDesign Audio Engine, by the way. Just a fun fact. Uh, you can leave these settings as is. And then this plugin streaming buffer, this only applies if you're using a, um, a plugin that's called Structure. It's a virtual sampler that comes with Pro Tools. And so if you're not using Structure, uh, you can just leave this as is. And even if you are using Structure, this will probably be fine and you won't need to change it. All right, that's the playback engine.